The coldest weather in decades has hit the midsection of the country and is heading east tonight. Temperatures early this evening were minus 12 in Chicago, minus 14 in Minneapolis, and zero in St. Louis. Travel, especially by air, has been mightily disrupted, as you might expect. But in North Dakota, home to the Bakken Fields, oil production, too, has been slowed. Brutal temperatures in the minus 20s make extraction and other operations extremely difficult. Happily, by Thursday, it should be 40 degrees warmer in Fargo. Well, speaking of air travel, that nasty winter storm has forced airlines to cancel more than 10,000 flights just since the weekend. Phil LeBeau has more from O'Hare Airport in Chicago. As temperatures in Chicago drop to 13 below zero, with the wind chill factor of 39 below zero, the cancellations and long lines at O'Hare Airport moved higher. Tom Fink and his family had their flight to Florida canceled twice and have no idea when they'll leave. Can't get any information from anybody. Um, the airlines basically won't even answer the phone anymore. Uh, so we're just hanging out in this line. We'll be here probably four to five hours trying to get rebooked. They're not alone. Across the country, stranded travelers have seen more than 9,000 flights canceled since last weekend. I've been canceled twice, and honestly, I mean, I have no idea when I'm going to be able to get out of here. I've been canceled twice so far, but I'm not sure how long I'll be here. I don't know. Those flying JetBlue to New York and Boston will have to wait a little longer to make their trip, with the airline canceling all flights from JFK, LaGuardia, Newark, and Boston from late afternoon Monday through 10 a.m. Tuesday. They understand the weather. They have a very good understanding of what the forecast is going to be. Um, they have a very good understanding of what their limitations are, um, what the limitations of their crew are. Most airplanes can fly in extreme cold weather, but servicing and moving those planes on the tarmac is difficult. At O'Hare, refueling trucks struggled with freezing equipment. And because ramp workers can't be outside for long with wind chills at 30 below, both American and United slowed down their schedules. It is kind of ridiculous. All these planes getting canceled, nobody knows what to do. What the airlines know is the longer this extreme winter freeze lasts, the more flights they'll have to cancel, and the greater the impact on the bottom line. How much this will cost is hard to say. But one thing is clear. This frigid start to 2014 has the potential to take a serious bite out of airline earnings. Phil LeBeau, Nightly Business Report, Chicago.